Polly and me pulled no punches when it comes to showing the hopeless life of an eight-year-old girl who grows up behind the closed doors of an abusive home. I think it'll be very hard for people to watch the scenes. We're not trying to shock people, but we're just trying to tell it as it is because we want to start this big national conversation about something which we're uh, treating far too lightly. The little girl only has her doll Polly for a friend. She's neglected by her young mother, who's a prostitute and addicted to drugs. The child watches her mother shoot up and the girl suffers sexual abuse at the hands of her mother's boyfriend. The short film has the backing of survivors of child abuse. Well, I grew up in a very violent alcoholic family and so there was a fair amount of abuse that happened within that family. For the first 11 years of my life it was pretty horrific. Robin Moulds now works on the front line, turning lives around. She also thinks this film will kick-start a debate on the taboo topic. It's very secretive. I think that's the difficulty in all of this. It is very secretive and, uh, and it's not a nice thing to talk about and so it isn't talked about very often in the public. According to research from the child protection group NAPCAN, 33,000 Australian children are abused each year. Every day, authorities get reports of 560 children suffering abuse, with 90 of them turning out to be confirmed cases. The film Polly and Me doesn't end with much hope, but its makers hope it'll provoke a cultural change in dealing with the issue. Adrian Rochella, ABC News.